or he would go into some up airs and he would mess up because he wasn't able to read the DI correctly. Yeah. So you can tell his conversions are a lot cleaner as the Yoshi, but we're not talking about Pico or Yoshi anymore. We got Steph versus Trey Five. What round is this? This is, I think, it's, I think it's set winter semis. Is it semis? It's gotta be semis, right? There's no way Trey Five and Lima played before quarters. Yeah, it's semis. Okay. I was about to say, what a per what a stat traffic hit if they fight before a quarter. I'm sure they've played in the past, but like right now, Trey's probably on that hot on a bit of a high after managing to beat 2 0 Lima, so. And after we saw from last week, where Chef managed to get games both times that he played Lima, but he wasn't able to get. But all those sets seemed very futile. But in this situation, Chef is just keeping the aggression going. Yeah, able to barely get back with the up key, but he has to roll it. Here's the roll with down, so it just takes that stock instantly. But he has not been got, getting anything this game at all. Yeah, so far. Yeah, Chef's doing a good job of just staying Ooh. in. Great down smash, but the S match not going to connect. Just the wrong re just the wrong red option. Knocking the dragon there, but it doesn't matter. Gets a little bit of percent. Any extra credit helps here. He's playing with the lead. He can do whatever he wants, basically. And that, and the shine just ignores the blocks. Just gets that little extra chip damage. Those dragons have been so clean today. Yeah, he's been like at this level. You, have, it's clear he's been practicing. He practices stuff a lot. Yeah, it, but it's, it's weird because it's usually like on a certain day. It's like, what is he going for? Because last time he was going for all the down stuff. Today, so far, he's going for all the drag down fairs. And, you know, if you're hot in one way and you recognize it and you're winning, I say go for it. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. You have all these options in Falco. And even though you lost that stock, Steve's already at 96%. A good conversion will take the stock. Yeah, Steve. He, but yeah, Trey's running a bit low on iron, so the. So his situations in those regards are pretty limited. So of course not. he's going to be hesitant to go for minecart or, or anvil at this point because there's not much he can. He's only got had one at that point, but now he doesn't have any. And knowing that, you can just go in on Steve. Yeah, you can see earlier he could have anvil easily got out of the situation, but he'd be out of iron like you just said. So definitely good awareness for Jeff and keep it the bottom of the screen, which is what you need to do against this character. Yeah, right now, Trey 5 has a plenty, enough iron to work with, so keep your eye on that. Right now, Chef is doing good, good job with these combos, getting a good 84% now on it. It's scary to think if he got that spike, it would be at, at least 100 before those extra hits right there. At this point, Yanni has a lot, of, or Trey 5, I mean, has a lot of iron. Good catch with the Anvil, but already at 104%. Uh, this is rough. Uh, definitely doable, but it's rough. You have gold, but you might have smash him. He tries to jump too high, and Chef just punishes it instantly. And that's a JV 2 star from Chef. That is not how you want to start a set. Even though you got him the last stock. That's still a tight situation. Because, yeah, Chef was doing a good job of keeping the aggression up. Especially when he had no iron. Trey Five never had the moment. Yeah. <laughs> he meant, like, to the extent of it, it was like, he would find situations where, oh, here's my opening, get some stuff in, and didn't get too much going. Yeah, like that, Zombie. like that second stock there where it's like, oh, I'm just going to drop the anvil and take it. Yeah, not having the momentum on your side as bad as Steve, it is detrimental against Falco. Yeah, any character that can just rush it down and combo you to oblivion. You want to keep, you want to be able to keep it up. All right, maybe the skin counter pick is gonna get him in the right mindset. We'll see. Definitely a much better start already, because he didn't just take 19% on the first stop. Yeah, totally. The chef's ready. Good spot dive, but not able to follow up on anything with it. Gets a little bit of going. Gets that up throw back air. And I'm surprised with how small the sides are on this, because that didn't kill, but probably really good DI in Trey Fire's card, knowing exactly what's coming after you get hit. So there he tries to air dodge, gets, ends up getting hit by the minecart. Two things of iron right now. Oh, 
Yeah, off the backboard. Boom. Oh! Yeah, it's not week two of fighting Steve. We know what that leads to, and braving the mass was super smart there for Chef. Brave Five tried to get something good there to take the stock quickly, but Chef was like, no, you. I mean, now he's. Brave Five did take the stock quickly right after. Yeah, no, but, he's, but that still cost him his first stock, which. Yeah, true. In this kind of situation, you want to save that stock as long as possible. Absolutely. Especially with those up tilt combos of Steve. I'm sorry, Zombie. You need rage. You need rage to. When he gets caught by the side, being into the back air, instantly takes a second stock. Just about a zero to death there on that. Now, now Trey Five's in quite a pick. Is in quite a pickle right now. He's got one thing of iron because he has he made the iron tools. There goes that, but now he has time to mine. One iron. Got a second thing of iron now. Three. Looks for my cart there. Doesn't get off me. Let's see. Absolutely zero iron right now. Oh, he got, there was the mine cart. Yeah, trying to let him stop the diamond. Death, not letting him breathe. Ooh, those, those, it doesn't matter. Those blocks just saved him. And now Chef's in a, in a bit of an interesting situation because Trey 5 now has the dime, which could be bad if he... Yeah, but he has no... He finally gets some iron from mining, but... Yeah, if, Trey, or if Chef were to get a little bit more off those straight hits, then Trey 5 would be in a garbage situation. Right now, right now with that diamond and a second one on the line in case he needs it. Things look pretty tight, but not a get that tech in sight. Don't know if he intentionally didn't tech or not. But he managed to get that. Just catch the option there, and we'll see. Nope. Iron, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, whipping the up then whipping the grab, and not getting the back air there either. Just well, a few conversions in a row. That up air clashed with with the anvil they try to drop and that'll take it yeah chef with the shooting range right through those two blocks and then you know play five is just struggling oh that's not blocking what can i do and trying to mine getting probably get some iron so you could you know mine card or anvil or something and chef was able to just run up to him and now oh we're in best five territory he yeah was... this is not where you want to take falco where are they going, Battlefield? Enderman. Uh, no, Yoshi's. Oh! This has been Falco's turf for four games now? Oh, no. Five if you include the mod? Uh. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't actually know if it's in the mod, but this is not where you want to take Falco, so it's pretty interesting to see what Trey Five can do here. And I don't think this stage has a lot of iron on it, so it's a bit risk risky, but that wool is turning up plenty of that wool. Yeah, definitely a fuzzy woozy world he's making Jeff do. Ooh, maybe he wants it for the wall. Because Kalos is definitely big. There's no way. Oh, yeah. You don't want him to get all that iron from Kalos or uh, Lilat. But Lilat's not a problem. So, sadly. Good, gladly. I'm not a fan of Lilat. I stand by Lilat. Save Lilat. Uh, no, leave it, in, uh, leave it in Hades where it belongs. Ooh, with that tech there. That was a remarkable tech there, but that one, there's no teching. Yeah, not. This is definitely the start that Trey 5 needed in this game in order to stay in the set. But not getting a lot of those up tilts. Trying to go for... Ooh! Jeff... Just very wise there, just catch that down here. Takes a little bit of damage, but that is more than worth it to take, let's take that stock. And now he's in a situation where the block keeps him out from getting anything going. Man, as I was just saying, though, he needed more from the up tilt conversion. Especially now that we know that he was losing the stock right after. So, uh, momentum shifted a little bit into Chef's direction. Taking a lot of percent, but now Trey 5 is stuck in the cutscene. And he, has no iron, and he has no iron to work with. He's gonna get down quickly and start mining, but he's not finding a situation to land. I don't know if that's supposed to be a drag down in the there, top but platform no. or... 
He's trying. He finally finds something, but he instantly uses it. Tries to get away. Is it? And that time he gets to my high guard he needs and catch that stock pretty well. Yeah, just raw right in his face. You now know, he shot the diamond online. In a smart situation here, he'd save that for last stop. Alright, now just running away and mining exactly what he needs to do in this situation. Now 25 is doing a good job and just Again with the raw minecart. Twice in a row, two stocks in a row. At least I'd like to report a hit and run. <laughs> no, literally, he hit him and ran away. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what happened? Yeah, Chef was trying to find a punish over the blocks, but Trey, but Trey managed to catch his option pretty quickly. Gets him straight out and then goes straight for the minecart, just takes him out at 60. Yeah, you can see game two, he was able to just get rid of those mine. Uh, minecart. Being able to get rid of those blocks and just run up to him and punish him. Trey Five was ready for that that game. He was ready to choose an option right in the face and punish him for it and get stocks before Chef even knew what happened. And those platforms made it hard for Chef to find a safe option to get in. Yeah, also, those platforms being different, the battlefield is a little weird. You see, you can see, especially in that last stock with the Nair that I think was supposed to be a drag down, it makes it a little hard to get those conversions if you're not ready for it. And now in this game, already Chef with a little bit of percent stone online. Very simple material, pretty decent for what it does. Let's see what happens. Carries the up still, but doesn't get anything off it. Oh, the pivot up tilt. Still not gonna do it. If I'm going in and get some decent stuff going right now, and the drag down there. Let's get catch up. He tried to catch that with the fair, but misses it. And oh, the fiat. Doesn't catch, read the DI on Trey Five there. To... These blocks aren't find some great, crazy custom stuff. Yeah, Trey's able to play so defensively until the last moment with all these options. This is really cool to watch. Oh, they are missing so hard right now. Yeah, a little bit of spaghetti here, and you know, that's to be expected in a close set like this. A little bit of nerves, a little bit of just all the slipperiness in both characters, even. And right now it's a little bit tricky to work with because he's low on he's low on iron right now, but he's been able to get the mining going. Oh, he didn't try to go for the up smash there. Normally, every time I see a situation like that, they go straight for the up smash right in front of the cart, ready to catch it. Right, yeah, he's just throwing out these down touch, but not even on the block, so uh, not gonna be able to punish all that camping. No iron, so that's going to be a pretty tight... Oh, the oh, drag down! Into the buffered air dodge. That's and unfortunate. He gets a little bit of iron automatically from that, and we'll see what he does. Yeah, the spike is going to come out. He's able to make it back, so, so no harm done. So it's basically an even situation, except Steve now has diamond. Yeah, only two iron, so he's going to have to run away a bit more to mine. A little bit extra. Good job doing that. Get away. Oh, the second hit. Go that second hit hurts worse. I, I, you never want to get hit by that twice. It just feels bad. Oh. Or he, just, he just keeps, he just keeps sending these blocks up, trying, just trying to manipulate the Ooh. option. But he catches, catching the jump out. Jump, my car jumps with a freaking down here. Just takes that stock. Yeah, and now a quick grab, a lot of percent already on Trey with the chimes as well. Yeah, this is looking really good for Chef's this stock so far. Yeah, that was a remarkable reflect on shine on the minecart there. Get some, put some terrifying damage on the Chef. And now let's see what we got. Ooh, Ooh. up throw up air, not quite enough yet. That's not going to be it either. Yeah, no, he's still not some percent even after the up smash. This is not at all what you want. Obviously, you don't want to lose, but. Yeah, but this is a very tight situation right now for Trey. He needs to start getting some stuff. That gold there will definitely be a use useful, but only if he can find a way to get in. Yeah, now he's got to use vanilla minecart, which he has to be a lot smarter with. He can't throw out near as much. Oh, there's the diamond. That crafted. Gets the gold. All right, now he's got diamond tools and gold for the minecart. But he's just getting walled out with the shine. 
It worked once for Shep, and then Shep's like, wait, why am I not doing this the whole game? <laughs> this is his game plan, and he, he just walled him out with one move. Then he popped the down tilt there, I'm surprised.